let's get started with setting up your maps test session for your students. You're going to go to the map site. You're going to log in. You're going to choose manage test sessions. Choose test my class. From here, I have a few sample classes set up. I'm going to choose the second one, test now. In this sample class, I only have one student. If you're ready to test all your students, go to select status. Choose a waiting student. This will select your whole class and come over here and choose assign test. From the drop down, you're going to choose your test. I will pick math. Click assign. This will bring you back to the test student screen. If any of your students have accommodations, you want to sign them now. So far, all the steps that I've showed you can be assigned beforehand, such as the day before or very early in the day. When you're ready to administer the test, you're going to log back in. Choose Manage Test Sessions. You want to choose Saved Testing Sessions. I see the session that I previously created. Then I will click Test Now. At this point, you want to get your students logged on. Right here, you will see the session name and the password. Your students will need these two bits of information to log into their test. From the student login screen, they're going to type in the session name, which is think5630. And for this session, the password is 7122. They're going to click the blue arrow. From here, the student will choose their name from the dropdown. And since I've only assigned one test, that will be the only option for them to take. They're going to click the blue arrow to continue. When the student gets to this screen, they want to ensure all the information is correct. If so, click yes. So on the student side, they are waiting for the proctor, which is you, the teacher. Back on the teacher side, I'm going to refresh the page by clicking this button. And when I look down here, I can see the student and the status has changed to to be confirmed. That's a good sign. I'm going to click confirm. The status has changed to confirmed. Back on the student side, you can see it now says you are confirmed to start the test. From here, they're going to click the blue arrow to begin their test. If the student is rushing through, the teacher will get this notification. In this case, back on the teacher side, I'm going to refresh the page to get a status update. I can see that there is one student who is hammering through the test and going too quickly. I will touch base with that student and ask them to take their time or see if there's any problems. After conferring with the student, I'll check their name, click resume. And on the student side, you will see it then will let them continue taking their test. The student will click the blue arrow. student rushes through the test, it will invalidate the test and he or she will have to take the entire thing over. So it's best to take your time and do your best. The end screen for a successful test will look like this. If you go to the Remote Learning Hub, you could access it through your bookmarks by clicking here. On the Hub, we added a map testing page, and you will find many resources for both scholars and family and teachers. Take a second to check it out.